Sherry here from Skinny Minks, and today we are going to make a lovely mango salsa. So I love making uh, sauces myself because I want to avoid all of just the rancid, nasty fats that are put in sauces in the grocery store. Um, not only are they not good for your health, but they're not good for your waistline, and they're not necessary in your food. So this mango salsa is perfect to you know put on salads or dip some healthy crackers or healthy chips into, uh, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, the base of the mango salsa, surprise, surprise, is mangoes. So I pre-chopped two mangoes, and I just have this set aside because I want to show you how easy mangoes are to work with. Um, I know that lots of times I tend to stay away from fruits with the skin because I'm lazy and I'm like, oh my god, I have to skin it, I have to chop it, it's such a pain. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so I hashtag my mango, you know, cut across, cut sideways, but leave it on the skin, don't cut through the skin. And then all I have to do is I literally just use my thumb to separate it from the skin and pull it off. So, you know, it couldn't be easier. Mangoes are delicious, they're full of beta carotene, um, full of vitamin C and other nutrients, um, and they make this amazing salsa. <laughs> so, encouraging you to eat your mangoes. It's not that hard. So we got two uh, mangoes chopped here. And then what we're gonna do is add in one onion. I've chopped up an onion here. And just stir that in with the mango. And you can eyeball it. You don't have to use the whole onion if you're looking at it. And um, you know, you know what proportions you like in your food how sweet um, compared to how spicy you want it, what your family will eat, I find is a big one for me. So I've got my, I used most of the onion, but not quite all of it. So I got my onion stirred in here. Got a cup of black beans. You can either use canned or you can soak and um, cook them yourself to make them soft. You're going to have higher nutrient value and the soaked ones are also the higher nutrients and they're better for your digestion so if beans tend to make you gassy then definitely you want to look at soaking and cooking them yourself versus can it just it inactivates a um, substance called phytates which can interfere with the digestive system so you see it's cooking a little dirty there from the black beans that's good i'm getting a nice sauce just from my nutrients if you find big pieces of onion like this just pull it apart you know make them like kind of cube sized so that they're going to be nice and easy to scoop up i've got the juice of one lime the lime really helps everything to marinate and the uh the flavors to blend together and it also gives you a longer shelf life on your salsa so it will stay a few extra days in the fridge got one clove of garlic chopped up here and i used uh, these baby sweet peppers for my salsa so it adds a bit of spice but it's not um you know overly hot like a jalapeno or something would be and personally for me i cannot do raw green peppers they they just tear my stomach apart. So I stick with the red, yellow, orange. They're easier to digest for me. Um, and this was four of these little mini uh, peppers there. You just got, got them in a mixed pack of sprouts. Do a pinch of salt here. Again, this helps to blend the flavors and also to preserve your food. So you get a longer shelf life with that salt. So the exact amount doesn't matter. I'm not looking for this to be really salty. Um, I'm just looking to make the flavor a bit more complex. So like a nice big pinch. Um, I'd say like it's probably a quarter to a half of a teaspoon of salsa. Or I mean of salt <laughs> for my salsa. Got too many S words going on there. Um, and then I got some rub chup cilantro. This is one bunch of cilantro. I'm going to see how much, uh, you know, actually fits and looks like, um, you know, it would taste nice in this formula. This isn't an exact science. It's not baking. You don't have to use exact amounts. You can chop up a bunch of stuff, taste it, eyeball it, you know, get your fingers in it. Um, but you're not gonna do it wrong. That, that's my point. It doesn't have to rise. It doesn't have to gel. You know, you want something that's visually stimulating. It fits in your bowl. <laughs> um, 
and it, um, it tastes good. And that's going to be a little bit different to everyone. This whole thing of recipes have to have exact amounts. Honestly, a lot of that is just because you're putting it out to the masses and you have to give direction. But don't think that in every recipe has to have exact amounts or you screwed it up. You know, it, cooking doesn't have to be that exact. And um, with this, it's so easy to change the portions as you go along. So I used half of this. This was an entire, uh, you know, bunch of cilantro. So I'd say about a half. Half a uh, bunch of cilantro or like a nice big handful is fine. We got that all mixed together. I am going to cover this and put it in the fridge. And the great thing is, you know, honestly, it's going to taste better tomorrow and the next day than it does today because it'll give the flavors a chance to really meld together. And I'll probably cover it in the fridge. It'll be good for about five days. Um, and we're definitely going to go through it in that amount of time. So, Really nice, slightly spicy, um, super sweet and fresh, and excellent for your snacks. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Um, I'm here to help, and check out the full recipe at SkinnyMix.com. Thank you, and have a beautiful day.